If you don't like the video in the next five seconds, I'll probably do eight damage. I was going to make a video on this key by keyboards and stuff and make videos on it, but um, it doesn't work. It keeps disconnecting and stuff. So I tried everything for an hour. It does, does not work. Box fighting. Biggest thing ever in Fortnite. If you ever want to get better, 1v1 is not the way. Face way retakes isn't the way. Box fight tips, strategies, and that is the way because you're going to be doing box fights every time in every pretty much every game you're gonna be doing a box fight or you should be so as you guys know the best box fighters right now are pretty much clicks kanata the main one is obviously clicks he does it the most streams the most about it and ha i'm pretty sure i have the longest solo record of box fights pretty much i'm on a uh discord so there's a bunch of discords for each region i'm pretty sure people make them but it's like this one is you go up in ranks every time you play someone and uh you verse against people with your own ranking and currently i'm 50 and oh i haven't lost one yet and a box fight one um i did test out some 1v1 uh what is it build battles but then box fighting i'm 50 and oh i haven't lost a single box fight match in that discord yet But yeah, I, I want to start ragering on stream and stuff, but uh, I will show examples from like what Clicks does and what I do and stuff. So I feel like I have experience and I can tell you guys too as well. Cause I've been box fighting even before this Discord came out, but I feel like I can give both sides my experience and Clicks's and see like, you know, what the best stuff you guys should do. So yeah, let's get on to it. Okay, so the first trick, everyone must know this, everyone. You guys are probably going to laugh. Everyone knows this one already. Right hand peek might be the most boringest thing to do, but you got to make sure you got the right hand peek. Because you can't see you, you just got to jump from this angle and shoot the opponent just like that. You want to always make sure that you're not in the middle when making this peak. There's literally no point. You're just going to get shot. You always got to make sure you're on the left side. And yeah, just always watch your angles. Angles are the biggest thing in box fights. Literally, if you don't have angles, you lose. That's literally how it works. So this is the first thing. Everyone should know this already. It's getting angles. Making sure you have angles is the biggest thing in box fights, okay? So move on to the next thing because that's like the most simplest thing i just want to make sure you guys know this because some people might not know this but yeah let's get on to the next one the next one's more of an advanced thing to do i i use it a lot and it catches people off guard but you have to do this trick really quick or else it's not gonna work so pretty much say for example someone's in one box right here and then you're in another one okay and then, so let's say someone's right here right in this box i'm gonna edit uh, a tile so if someone's in that box where the tile's edited and you're back here so what you want to do is make the wall one hit or one shot same thing okay not timing it correctly okay right here you hold your wall while you break it with the last shot you jump and make sure you're, you're in edit mode so you can reach the wall because if you're in just your shotgun you can't it won't be able to reach it it'll just touch this wall if you're in edit mode or build mode then you could reach over over the wall pretty much so you could jump in and get the wall and then you can play it right away get the angle or you can always Go like that, look downwards, and then wait till someone comes. Or wait till they peek that area. Like, say if they're, like, in another box nearby. You can wait, and then... That's another useful trick. A lot of people get caught off guard with that trick. I do it a lot, and it saves me sometimes. But, yeah, it's a really useful trick. And I recommend doing that a lot. Okay, so the next trick, I've seen Kanata do it. And it's not that useful, but it could come in handy. It's just good knowing. Because, like... So, this is pretty much what the trick he does. So pretty much if an opponent's like nearby, you don't want to place a pyramid because I'll ruin it. You edit a tile like that. You make these, so basically six walls or six edits and then the one on the top. And you go in the left corner and then you're pretty much blocked by it. And you can go ahead and you got to make sure you reset right away though or it's not going to work. This trick is not really like a good peek to do, but it's useful if like you're low on HP and you need to confuse your opponent quickly. Doing this edit and like... It could confuse them sometimes and throw them off guard so you can just go like you have to make sure you look down right away to reset the edit but yeah this is a really really good trick if you're on pc uh, all these tricks you can do on controller but this one could be hard if you can't do it instantly because it could give your opponent some time to shoot you so if you don't do it instant but controller you should be able to do it at the exact same time but it might take more time on controller in my opinion but yeah so that's another trick but the other ones were more useful, but this one is good to know, you know. Okay, so the next trick, pretty much, some people call it Mongrel Classic, but this really isn't the Mongrel Classic. So, what the Mongrel Classic is, is pretty much you edit, or pretty much you break the opponent's wall if he's in the box. You break it, you edit it, place a stair, and then flip it around, and then shoot him. In box fights, this is what I like doing. So, say if someone's in this box right here, right? They just built a box, and, like, you hit them, like, 40, in their box, they're trying to drink, drink a mini. You want to break it and place a stair right away. They're gonna, they might place the wall, but... 
you want to place the stair the second your stair places you hold the wall out it may it may work sometimes you're 100 percent get the stair in if you hold the stair while you break the wall but what i do is hold the stair and also the wall at the same time and i get both of them and then i go ahead and make a double edit and then get them so instead of giving your opponent time to react it's basically like a, rever a reverse thing i've never seen anyone do obviously people do this in a game but i've never like like got this idea from someone else to just i put this in perspective because every time i would phase the stair in but like Sometimes they would not they would get shocked by the stair and just not place a wall in general and just be like, oh, okay So if you place both of them, it's a very useful trick and you can mess them up a lot Another little neat trick is just um Always be aware of the HP of the opponent's wall because if you want to replace the wall with a shotgun Make sure it's 50 HP because look right now we're, we're gonna see what how much HP this wall is so We'll wait a couple seconds. So it's 150 Shooting it 54 HP off So if the wall is 54 HP So if you see the opponent's wall very lit you can retake it right there when it's around 54 or around 50. That's it. When it's above 54, you can't do anything about it. You're gonna have to use your AR to spray. So yeah, that's a useful trick just to know, you know, during box fights, knowing the health that your shotgun can take the wall out. A purple shotgun, purple pump shotgun. Okay, so I have a trick when someone is lit and they start running away and boxing up. What you can do is when they're really wide is hit the box and make a one hit. Okay, hold up. Oh, already one hit actually. So make a one hit, then place a stair, jump in, and shoot them so not just jump in when you like when the stairs right like riding for the stair and make no one's one hit and jump in you got to place a stair while you're jumping in so basically the second you break the wall you hold stair out and the second you hold stair you want to while you're like flying in the box you edit tile this or wherever they are if they're on the left you do the left way if they're on the right edit the left and then you shoot your shotgun and then yep easy easy kill and if you miss a shotgun just start ar spamming they should be really confused because they'll rec they'll realize the stairs there and like not react because like they'll think you know it'll take a while for you to edit or you wouldn't like edit while you're flying in. But if you can do it perfectly, then it will look like that. Another simple trick some people forget to do in box fights is pretty much say if the opponent's like outside, you know, right here, right in front of you. Put stair. You can go ahead and flip it around, and you'll be phasing through. So pretty much when you make an edit, you can go ahead and you shoot through. So, okay, so if you can do it fast enough, pretty much it'll look like this. So you'll be faced through. And then what you can do after that is combine it with this. So as you see right there, what I did is I pretty much phased myself right there. And then I also made a window to shoot the person. So, uh, you know, if they're on the left a little bit, I can get from each angle. I feel like that's the best, so you're less exposed. And, you know, you can also get that. Some of them might not even recognize that you're faced through if you do it really quick. And then you shoot them, go ahead, jump up so you're not phased again. You edit this, reset it, and then boom, you can push them right there. Really, really easy move. Some of these moves, like like a lot of, like I know too, but if I just see someone do it again, it will just give me like the knowledge to like, I don't know, just to like refine that move. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like it would help you guys out. I'm, I'm trying to do as much tricks as, as possible to help you guys because in each scenario it's different you need something to like help you out in a given situation because you might be one hp the opponent might be 150 they hit you for a lucky like 199 or i don't know how however much and you need to make a comeback and these tricks can help you out with those so yeah and you have to pick which one's the best in that situation and practicing all of them will just and your box fights will help you determine which one's the best for each situation practice just playing literally just playing will help you get better at box fights playing box fights will help you get better at box fights obviously but yeah